Greetings in the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. This is a great moment from Uganda. I would love to bring to you the word of the Lord. I am Reverend, Right Reverend Joseph Abba, the Bishop of the Diocese of Liwolo, who is in partnership with the Christ uh, Christian Relief Education for South Sudan, UK. I wanted to bring a message tonight to encourage you, to strengthen you, and to lift up your soul and your spirit. We are living in a time of fear, anxiety, and stress because of the COVID-19 that have challenged, disorganized, disrupted the social life of the people. And everyone live in the mercy of fear and the despair. Therefore, I know that you might be there in your house. You don't know what to do. But I wanted to share with you the same experience of King of Judah, King Jehoshaphat, in 2 Chronicles chapter 20. You begin from verse 1 up to the end. King Jehoshaphat heard a report from his high intelligent people that the three nations of Ammon, Moab, and Mountain Shi have organized themselves with all their army in multitude to come and attack with the purpose of rooting out the children of Israel from the promised land. When the news reached the king, he did not know what to do. This is equally the same with when the coronavirus broke out in China. It took the world by surprise. They do not know what to do. Confused. Not only the, the nations, even every single individual were taken by surprise, by shock. Kid or seed did not know what to do. And I know you must be one of them who is stressed, distressed, fear, and in despair. But I wanted to bring for you a message of hope even in the middle of distress. Our hope is not in our weapon. Our hope is not in our medicine. Our hope is not in, our, in the economy. But our hope is for the, from the creator of heaven and earth, who is omnipotent, who is omniscient, who actually knew very well at a time like this, a humanity will cause for himself this kind of a suffering. And I want to aware you that as being omniscient God, he had already planned a way of exit for you and for the entire world from this pandemic, which has brought the world into their knees. King Jehoshaphat discovered that the better way he cannot defeat those army on his own, but he can defeat the army when he depends on the power and on the resources of the Lord. He prayed, he gathered the whole nation for prayer and fasting. And do you know what happened? The Lord who is listening to the prayer of his people heard the prayer of the people. He came into their rescue. He said, King Johansbad and the people of Judah, take your position, take your peace. This battle is not yours. This battle belongs to me. And he fought and he sent a spirit of confusion into the army of Moab, and all of them killed themselves, and millions of millions of the soldiers lying dead on the ground. Therefore, what do I mean to say in this context? That the battle of coronavirus is a battle that we cannot fight it on our own, but God will fight in our behalf. I want to tell you, be strong in faith. Be strong in the Lord. Don't be discouraged. Don't be dismayed, he said to Joshua. And this evening, he's saying to you, God, don't get discouraged. Oh, with anything, listen to what the leaders of our country 
are saying, guiding us of what to do. Stay at home. Keep social distance. Wash your hands. Those are good guidance from our leadership. Therefore, we have to take our role as a family to pray, to seek the face of God, for God to take this sickness out in the face of the world so that we can be able to come back into our normal life. It is my prayer for you and for anyone who is listening to me tonight that your soul will be lifted up. You will be encouraged. You will be strengthened. You will rise up in your faith. I strongly believe that at the end of this coronavirus, the world will rise up and the world will be, will be strong again and it will never be defeated. Therefore, the mercy of the Lord and the grace of the Lord is so sufficient to you. I pray tonight that you will be strengthened and you will be built up. In Jesus' name I pray for you. Amen.